hey guys welcome technical video here today in this video we'll be talking about one of the most important solution or answering the mostly asked question most asked question that it is your how to clear other storage from iphone this video is for all the iphone users so watch it so guys basically if you open setting application go to general open iphone storage and scroll down till the bottom or till the last option so here there are two categories that is your system storage and your other storage so basically system storage consists of all the operating system or system files but other storage are mainly unproductive or like your waste okay but how to clear them so if you see here it consumes of all the cache logs etc right but there are multiple ways okay there are multiple videos on youtube saying you how to clear them like you are clearing your website data clearing your safari history safari browser history something like that but it will not clear all the 4 to 5 gb data from your iphone so how to clear that so guys for this i'll be using a itunes software that is available for windows as well as your mac so let's start the video so now i am on my laptop screen so first thing i'll be doing here is opening the itunes application on my laptop so after that once you open the itunes application connect to your iphone to your laptop or pc using the usb cable once you do that you will get your iphone shown in a itunes so here once your iphone is shown in itunes do one thing just go ahead click on summary okay and just click on backup now and make sure that you are doing it in your my computer so don't click on icloud just select your computer and click on backup now once you click on backup now it will backup your entire iphone data your messages application photos videos everything so your entire iphone will be stored on your computer so give it a time so guys after a while iTunes will backup your entire iPhone on a local computer drive so after that comes the next step but make sure that you get a message saying that backup done so and so time so and so date as you can see on screen now comes the next step that is erasing all the data from your iPhone and resetting your iPhone so guys here make sure that you are done the backup completely you are sure that backup is done on your iTunes on your computer after that go ahead so here you have to go to settings open general click on reset and erase all the content and settings this will wipe out all the data it will erase all the data from your computer and make it as a new one but don't worry your all the data files each and every file will be saved in your backup so if you're, if you're sure of backup is done then go ahead and erase all the data and reset your iphone once you erase your iphone or reset your iphone you get a hello screen like a greeting screen right after that just go ahead and start setting up your iphone while doing a setup of your iphone you will come across a screen whether it will ask you to set up your iphone as a new one or you can restore the backup from icloud or your pc or laptop or mac so here just choose restore backup from your mac or pc after that it will ask you to connect to your iphone to your laptop or pc by using the itunes so if you see on screen here i'll be connecting my iphone by using a usb cable to my laptop by opening the itunes so if you see here once i connect my iphone to laptop while itunes is open on my laptop it will show up the iphone here on the itunes once your iphone is opened in your itunes it will surely detect that it is a new iphone without a apple id so once you do that it will show up here as a completely new iphone and here is the option of setting up as a new iphone or a restore the backup so as we are aware that we already done the backup okay earlier to restore this so just go ahead and click on continue with your restore backup once you do that it will start restoring entire backup on your iphone that is done earlier so whatever backup you done latest one that it will be restored back on your iphones so i remember this will take a time this will take a more time depending upon your data so if you have less data backup then the less and if your iphone had a larger storage then it will take a larger time or a more time just have a patience and wait for the restoring so guys as you can see on screen the restore is in progress so it will take a time as a side depending upon your data size so while you do that in between and after the data is restored or transferred to your iphone you get this screen right so here data is transfer and your iphone is waiting for restoring it or a completely putting it on your device so wait for a while and guys finally as you can see on screen the iphone is restored with backup right so all the data has been backed up and restored on my iphone completely so here it will be just like you're setting up your new iphone with a backup in it so already backup is there just set up your iphone so just click continue enter the apple id 
and choose some basic things just like your zoom and all after that welcome to iphone and guys now if you see here here is your new iphone with complete backup so same wallpaper same application same setup everything is same that's nothing is gone even photos and videos are same there on my iphone so don't worry your app data is there just go ahead and install the application so now as you can see on screen i have installed all the application with all the app data is there so now the main thing comes did this work okay what about other storage if you go to setting application open general and open iphone storage so now if you see here earlier my data was consume almost 30 gb but here only 19 gb so 10 gb has been freed here but same application are there okay nothing has been removed so same app data same application all the photos all the videos are there on my device so what has helped me so if you see here the photos are there whatsapp backup is same okay 1.9 gb almost so now the main part if you scroll down till the end what about your other storage so earlier it was around 6 gb right so now if you see only 2.64 So guys here almost 4 GB of storage has been cleared from other storage as well as your main storage from your iPhone has been cleared so completely 10 GB has been freed from my iPhone as of now so i hope or i believe that the trick really worked okay so make sure that you are doing correct backup and once you have the backup just do the steps so guys i hope this video helped you just make sure that you are done the correct backup okay just be sure that backup is done after you have the backup you can do anything okay then just follow the next steps and complete the process so guys lastly i hope you like this video if you like this video please give it a like and please subscribe for more awesome videos on iphone tips and tricks and iphone solutions until then thank you very much bye bye